Hey friends, we're going to start writing a Mad Libs game in Python. If you're not familiar with what a Mad Lib is, uh, go ahead and Google it now and uh, come on back. Because knowing what a Mad Lib is is going to help you a lot in coding it, obviously. So, the first step here is actually to write a story. I would go into a regular text editor, um, whatever one you prefer, and write a story. It should be a big solid paragraph long, um, at least. It doesn't need to be super long. Uh, too long is also almost as bad as too short. So it should be more than two or three sentences, and it should be shorter than, I don't know, 10 or 15 or 20 maybe, 20 at the max. So let's say minimum of eight sentences and a maximum of 20. So you can write your story about anything you want. The story could be, uh, sorry about the noise in the background, by the way. The story could be, um, you know, serious. It could be like real life, true story. It could be a retelling of something you saw on TV, so totally fiction. It could be a how-to, almost anything you want. It should be your own writing, though. Don't plagiarize it. So even if you're a retelling, um, you know, Little Red Riding Hood or something like that, it should be your retelling of it, your writing of it, not uh, one you copied off the internet. Speaking of copied off the internet, I copied mine off the internet. I'm sorry. I was in a hurry to make this video, and uh, I feel like it makes it okay since I just admitted it just now that I copied it off the internet. Anyway, our first step then is going to be, after I write our story, so I guess our second step is going to be to print out the story. So here we are. I'm in Thani, which again you can find uh, on Windows, assuming it's installed, by going to the bottom left hand corner of the screen, pressing the uh, Windows button in the bottom left corner, and in the search type T-H-O-N-N-Y and press enter and it should come up. And then make a new file and name it whatever you want. I need mine madlib.ex. So then um, once you've done that, and you've written your story. Let's get to coding. So the first step I'm going to do is actually print the story. So I'm going to go down a couple of lines and I'm going to write print parenthesis and then three double quotes. So three double quotes with no spaces in between will allow me to make a multi-line print. Now that I did that, I'm going to press enter and I'm going to paste in my story that I copied from, from where I wrote before. So control V for me. And then three double quotes. There's my little red Riding Hood story. And as you can see, I formatted it so it's text wrapped uh, to fit you know, neatly on the screen. If you copy this off of the internet or, or possibly off of a text editor, uh, it may go all the way across the screen. And that's really ugly and annoying. You should take the time to um, go down the line and, and press enter you know, each step to, uh, to make it format neatly and pretty. Right, so I can run this just to make sure everything's good. So there's a little Red Riding Hood story. Nothing too interesting there. All right, great. So now, as a Mad Lib, what I want to do is replace parts of the story to, to change it um, using different parts of speech, like nouns and pronouns and adjectives and whatever the case may be. So that's what the user is going to do. So I'm going to start the story. Long ago, there lived a pretty girl who always wore a red cape with a hood. All right. Um, maybe I'll change pretty to be an adjective. So pretty is an adjective. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to replace it with a percent sign. So shift and the number five and a lowercase s. Percent s, no space between the two. Right, so that was an adjective. So up here I'm going to write, I'm going to be lazy and make my adjective variable name be a1. That's the first adjective. And I'm going to set that equal to input. parenthesis quote and now I'm going to give them uh, their instruction I'm going to type forward slash and this is going to make it on a new line and then with no, with no space because I don't need to space it I'm going to say type and adjective and then a space and I like to give a symbol for them to type next to um, I like to use a greater than sign like that because it just looks like you know a good place for you to type next to and then another space so they're not typing directly right up against it. Okay, and then a quote and another parenthesis. So cool. So this first word, pretty, is going to now be replaced with an adjective. 
All right. So that's not actually the whole story now. We now need to take A1 and put it uh, down here. So, for example, so now I'm going to say percent sign, space, parenthesis, A1, parenthesis, like that. So now when I run this, it's going to ask me to type an adjective. So if I say ugly and press enter, it's going to replace pretty with ugly. And so that's how the whole thing works. You know, what we type is going to be replaced. All right, so cool. So we know that worked. Uh, an ugly, and let's take girl out of it too. Um, so it's, uh, I guess a girl is just a noun, so we'll replace that with a noun. And I'm going to copy this because why type more than we have to? V, and I'm going to type noun here instead, noun. And so right here is going to get replaced with percent %s. And down here is going to get a comma and n1. Now I can always, uh, I can replace words again and again. Um, like, let's say I want to replace, I want to do red. So it's not going to be a red cape anymore. It's going to be something else. So I'll say percent %s. And up here, I'm going to say color v. And I'll say type a color. Now, every place I want color to be, like if red shows up more in my story, does it? Yeah, a little red riding hood. Um, I can use that word color again and again. So well, let's put color in here so I don't forget. Because where people go wrong in this is they have a different number of variables down here listed than they have percent %s's listed in their story. So that's really important. Uh, that's why I do it the way I do it. I do one in the story, make sure it's defined up here, and then type it down here. This name has to match one of these up here. And like I said, they can be repeated. So um, maybe, I don't know. So I put type a pronoun here. This is getting weird. Anyway, so here's red again. So I'll type percent %s, and so that's a repeat of red, and that's with nothing else in between. So I'll type comma, color, and so on. So just let's run it real fast, make sure everything's good. You can run it often, and that helps you kind of make repairs to your code before it's so broken that you have no idea what went wrong. So I only did four things. So let's take a look. So I'll say adjective, hungry, noun. Long ago there lived a hungry dog who always wore a purple cape with a hood. She was known as Little Purple Riding Hood. So I'm going to stop there, but you would keep on going through your story and replacing words with percent %s and then redefining them. So I'm going to stop there. Um, you're going to keep going and typing percent %s for words and defining them with unique variable names. In other words, if it was another noun, I might call it N2, and that's a really easy way to not you know, repeat them and not have to have too unique of a name um, and keep them being replaced down here. And keep trying it. Try it often so that you can see if you're making a mistake or whatever. Um, if, you try, if you do one thing and you try it and it doesn't work, you know that the mistake was that one thing you just changed. So the more often you try it, the easier it's going to be to fix it. Alright, that's my video about how to make a Mad Lib, and uh, I think it was pretty short and to the point. So take your time, do a nice job, make an interesting story you know, about this long. This is what I'm looking for. And you should replace quite a lot of the words with, with variables to make it funny. If we leave some of the stuff in here, like Riding Hood, everybody can tell what the story is about. Um, maybe you want to replace that, maybe you don't. Maybe you want people to know that the story was riding, about Little Red Riding Hood, but we changed it. Or maybe you want to make them be replaced by user inputs as well. It's really up to you. Have fun with it, and once you're finished, play somebody else's game, and have somebody else play yours. So share the game back and forth. Enjoy the process. All right, good luck.